Okay, uh, that was what Tom F. We cut. We're now over to Will and Dave. Yeah, what I was trying to identify was who the audience is or how the audience changes. Because at the moment, the way, the way I think about it is that we've got an aerial on the top of the Phoenix building. So I think of a sort of circle mostly in the centre of Exeter. But if we've got aerials Stoke Hill and towards Cranbrook, are those air, sort of neighbourhoods that you think are going to be more involved in, in what's going on? Well, I don't actually think you should think in terms of what you're thinking of. OK. Um, because, in fact, such a lot of listening now is online. Um, you know, it's, it's actually pretty immaterial where you are. We've just, we've just been having a discussion um, in the studio uh, about the fact that there are people who are listening all over the world. Yes, there is an audience in Exeter, but yes, there's a worldwide audience because digitally it's, it's possible to actually extend what you're doing anywhere. But to, uh, to, to think in those terms uh, about where the, air, you know, where the areas are going to be, We've got one in Cranbrook, which is going to cover the whole of the sort of East Devon Cranbrook area. Um, but, but with the proviso that, in fact, at some point in the future, there will be a separate F uh, digital a DAB plus service for Dawlish and Exmouth. If the, if the current plans go ahead, um, we, we might talk about that later. Um, so there's one in Cranbrook. There's one at the top of Pennsylvania, and later in the summer there will be another one right in central Exeter, which um, it will come on stream after the first two. So the parameters of what we're looking at is really a signal get, that gets out somewhere beyond Crediton. Um, it's difficult to know where, Copplestone perhaps, somewhere like that. Um, going in that direction, down the Teen Valley, um, going southwards towards Exmouth, there are bits of Exmouth that will get the signal, um, and there will be the whole of Exeter as well. Uh, we're hoping that when, with the three transmitters, it'll actually cover the whole area. So um, th that's the, th those are the sort of parameters in the terms that you've been thinking about, that that's the kind of area that we'll broad be broadcasting to. Um, but ultimately, I think probably there will be an increase, other than people in cars, <laughs> there will be an increasing tendency for people to listen online. So you think the, the, the sound quality that's available online will be just as good as DOP? Well, it, I suppose it depends on where you live in Exeter, but I, you know, I've got a 5G signal at, at home and I listen with, with good equipment, I get a great signal from any, pretty much anywhere in the world with a, with an, a, a DAB plus receiver well, and a, you know, an internet connection. Okay, <laughs> so, so we should stop, I mean, Phonic is a local uh, station, essentially. Yeah. How does Ofcom think about Phonic? Does Phonic sort of show up as a, a local community and what does that mean? Well, w w we have to provide every year. We, we've got a, a set of rules we have. Um, we, we have to provide a service in a certain way. So, for example, we have to provide 15% speech in terms of our output, which we reach, believe it or not, easily. Uh, when we started, when the station started in 2008, our big worry was we were committed then to 10% of speech. And we were thinking, you know, actually people want to play music. But what's happened, I think, over a period of time between 2008 and now is, <laughs> is that increasingly the people that we've got on air have more to say about the music that they're playing. Yes, they play a lot of music, but there is an awful lot of information that is given out. We also, uh, as you know, I mean, we support local music. This, this Friday in the yeah. Phoenix, we've got uh, King Hammond coming, and that's all in support of, of their local bands, in support of the, uh, the Phonic FM. And we have uh, other, we've got a, a, an evening coming up later in June when we're going to be supporting local music and basically phonic fm is predicated on supporting local arts so really you 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 need to debate what you think arts are are 
yes, well, I, I, I do debate what drama is on a, a show, uh, but also I'm just puzzled. I'm going to probe you a little bit on, on what you think Ofcom are expecting, because if, it, if it's a, essentially a local community radio output, and we say, well, we have a wide range of visiting artists, and we've got a lot of listeners online in uh, Central Europe, and we can prove that. And they listen online entirely, so the DOB thing doesn't really come into it. And we say something like that. Is that going to make sense to them? Uh, I, I, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm hesitant to actually talk in, in terms of the relationship that we have with Ofcom. It, um, it, it, it's good. I think what is difficult to understand is quite how widespread the uh, work that, f uh, that Ofcom do is. I mean, it, it relates certainly to radio, but if you, go to, if you get the Ofcom bulletin, you'll see that, in fact, they're, they're very, they're, they cover telecommunications, they cover television, they, cover broad, uh, they, they are going to be covering uh, broadband and internet connections and so on and so forth. Uh, we, we're a mere speck on their horizon. And, and I think as, as long as we can prove on a regular basis that we do, it's called social gain. And as long as we can go on proving that, we, that there is a degree of social gain in what we do, uh, then they're going to be, they're not going to worry about us. Okay. They, I mean, if you, if you get the bulletin and, and have a look through it, uh, you, you will see that, in fact, um, on a regular basis, there are community radio stations and there are over 250 of them now that don't perform to their promise of performance, which is, you know, what we've laid out in terms of social gain and what we're going to broadcast. They're always, they're always having stations who don't conform to those, but Phonic FM conforms to them rather, rather well, although I say it myself. OK. Chris. Um, and I think Phonic FM are a great radio station and I've loved doing this show since the end of 2009. Well, I can't, I can't comment on the first part of your statement, Chris, because, you know, that's nice of you to say so, but we certainly appreciate the fact that you have been with us and that you feel able to do this and that, we, that, you, know, that you, you do it on a regular basis because that's what really what, F, what Phonic FM is predicated on doing. Thank you, and I enjoy it. Good. Well, that, that's, that's great. Well, uh, we'll take, I'll take one more question, then we'll have some more music, I think. OK, okay. well, this one is... Th this, this, we're gradually learning that there are a wide range of other radio stations on the DOB signal. Um, so would you explain to us what, who they are? But then the, the, other, the other part of that is we've, we've learned this because access all aerials uh, we know are going to be on DOB. And so we, we met them when they were doing their temporary... Uh, Radio Shack event uh, outside Devonham's, which I think is going to repeat, and we went we went over there and visited them. Um, but we're thinking of working with them more closely over time. And I just wonder if you think radio stations in Exeter, uh, because they're meeting around the DOB, uh, will will create anything else out of that situation? Well, I certainly hope so. I mean, uh, there are. There are quite a number of people who are uh, who are interested in radio locally, and if we covered a wider area, um, then in fact we would, you know, we we would be able to do more. But there's a, a, a lively station, uh, Tiverton Community Radio, who are um, local and adjacent to us. Crediton Community Radio as well, who uh, are there. There's a college station. There's the university station, Expressions FM. And we're very much hoping that they, that when our discussions with them are completed, they will be on the DAB+. Plus. Uh, you talked about access all areas. We're going to have um, East Devon Radio, who are going to be on our DAB Plus service. Uh, the uh, the Torbay Community Radio Station are going to be on it. Uh, there, I mean, it, it is a it, it, it is a relatively low cost way of broadcasting. Once you've established, um, the, you know, your your somewhere to broadcast from. Right. <laughs> well, that, that's, all, that's, that's all good. So I can see they're all going to use it. 
So we'll see, we'll see what, come, what comes out of it. Uh, well, no, I mean, I, you know, I would actively encourage anybody who is listening who has uh, even the slightest interest to actually get in touch with, um, with us at XDAB um, because we are interested in supporting local groups who are interested in broadcasting. Uh, one of the things that I think is uh, really good is the relationship that we have with Radio X because um, Radio X you know, are broadcasting to an entirely different audience to the audience that Phonic FM is broadcasting to, by and large. I'm, you know, with, with all the sort of specialist shows that we've got... Can I just say, listeners, if you think this is nonsense and you actually listen to a wide range of radio, do let us know. Well, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I mean, I agree, but there is there is choice for everybody. I, you know, I, I listen to Radio Three in the morning, mainly because I like Georgia Mann, who's the presenter uh, on the mid morning show. Um, but you, you, you go on go on the whole range and, and system, and there are there are lots and lots and lots of different stations. And locally, we really would encourage people to get involved through XDAB. Um, to broadcast anything that they might be interested in, I, I you know, I, I really do, I, I really do believe that Exeter has a thriving art scene, um, and I, again, it's open to debate what you want to call arts, um, but it does have a thriving art scene, and that Phonic FM is there to support it. Chris, I think it's about time we uh, we looked at another piece of music. Okay, and I think we have the Manic Street Preachers. If you tolerate this, your children will be next. <laughs> 